get so discouraged going to conferences because I would never win any door prizes or raffles. But then I started making these money mindset shifts and adding in these money magic practices and I have started winning raffles. I'm the seven figure witch and I help women transform their money magic so they can go from having inconsistent manifestations and unprofitable businesses to building generational wealth and experiencing effortless money. And if you need some creative inspiration to start working on your money mindset, grab my journal prompts at the top of my page. So it used to be whenever I went into a conference, I already had that negative thought in my head and I said to everything, oh, I never win anything. I never win anything, I'm not gonna win anything. And you know what, it's true. And so now whenever I go into a conference, I look at the raffle table and I look at something and I say, that one's mine. And so I just went to a conference and you know what? I won a $25 gift card and the receipts are on the other app. And the magical working I did that morning was I put cinnamon in my coffee, stirred it clockwise while I stared at and meditated to the Nine of Cups tarot card. And so the magic part isn't about the end result. It's not a hyper focus on winning the raffle. It's about stepping into the archetype of a winner, somebody who's indulgent, who's okay being selfish, who's okay winning something, being the winner. And so the Nine of Cups card is a great card for that. It's the wish card. It's about indulgence. And so that is the archetype that I stepped in. And when I walked into that room and I looked around, I said to myself, I deserve one of these gifts and one of them is mine. And I actually pointed to a Stanley Cup, but I won a $25 Target gift card. But I still won because I made those mindset shifts. And what that tells me is that perhaps I didn't believe in myself enough because like the Stanley Cup was like the highest prize. Um, but it tells me that I'm on the right path and that's what's important when you're working your magic. So I've documented all of that and I will continue this in my magic workings. And if you've stayed this far and you want to learn the exact things that I have done to manifest a $60,000 raise, doubling my real estate portfolio and starting to win raffles, you can head up to the top of my page and check out Magical Money Mastery.